Hey guys, I am back again, and I know that the audio still is bad. I tried to get a microphone to work, but uh, I was going to borrow my brother's, but it wasn't working, so yeah, still Skype calling myself. But basically mm -hmm. here, we have the mm -hmm. site for our new competition that we were trying to do in place of or alongside the ISHC called the Summer Shiny Competition or SSC for short. And the website is really basic. It's easy to use, in my opinion. Um, you know, this is the home page. We'll have your team submissions right here on it, where you put your team name up in the first one, an active email address, just in case there's anything that goes wrong. Uh, it can be of any of the teammates. And then in the message, just say your teammates' names. And once it starts, we'll have the gimmick week set up on the left of the home page right here. And this will basically run the team submissions for two weeks into the competition since I am uploading this literally 19 hours-ish before it starts. Or, well, not uploading. I'm actually recording at that time, so probably less time uh, when I actually get to uploading it. Um, but the next next tab is team rankings, which, you know, since it's brand new, nice and tidy, there are no teams yet, but we will get teams running there as soon as you guys uh, submit your teams. So, yeah, to submit your teams, just go ahead and click the link in the description to it and submit them out here if you're interested in, you know, participating in this competition. Um, so next thing we have, we have gimmick weeks uh, as the ISHC and I believe WSHC does it all. So actually, I don't remember if the WSHC, but yeah, we have gimmick weeks, uh, kind of di different, just added our own little twists. So basically, if you find a Pokemon for the gimmick week, you gain one point extra on top of the other points that a Pokemon would generally get. Um, if you get the certain rarer Pokemon of the gimmick week that we have specified, then you gain two bonus points for it instead. So these are the weeks in not any specific order. Week of the Wealth in mansions, such as the one in Fire Red, Leaf Green, or the Old Chateau, or the Trophy Garden. Um, yeah, and the special... Finding for that is Gengar, which you may find in a certain room in the old chateau with GBA slot insertion. Uh, you know, like we said, that extra bonus point is going to try to be as hard to get as we can make it. Um, so yeah, another one is Stay Golden, which you just get gold shinies. Uh, the bonus point for that is going to be Charmander, since no matter where you hunt it, it takes a while whether you're hunting it. In Generation 6, those SRs take a while. If you're hunting it in Generation 3 or 4, those still take a while. So we f we find that it's pretty rare, and it is going to be worth two bonus points for that week. Um, the next one I thought was really clever. It's the Day of the Week Pokemon. It's a Pokemon that change and only appear uh, their sprites in the overworld during a certain day of the week, such as Lapras on Fridays, Drifloon on Fridays, uh, I believe Mandibuzz and Braviary on Mondays, and not sure when Jellicent is. And there might be more that I'm forgetting, but those are the ones that I know off the top of my head. And the rare one for that is Mandibuzz, because these can all be found at the same percentage, but of those videos, it seems like Mandibuzz is the least hunted. So, just to get some more of those up on YouTube, we're making that the bonus gimmick. Um, the next week is Random Week, in which we take uh, a random Pokemon generator and randomize five Pokemon, the fifth of which needing to be a legendary, and that legendary one will be the extra bonus point. And these five Pokemon will be what you're looking for throughout this week. And those random Pokemon will be... Uh, They'll be chosen at the beginning of the week, probably a day before, so you guys have time to plan your hunts. Uh, and I'll upload the video to that on my YouTube channel, and I'll also tweet if you guys want to follow at Shiny Collector Nine. And, and yeah, so I'll try to get that out, you know, a day or so before, so you guys can plan that. 
Um, Jurassic Week uh, fossils was it's already an ISHC, but it is a cool target. Uh, you know, a cool gimmick for that. Uh, shout out to Memo Delivery for that. Um, but our double bonus for that is going to be Tortuga and Archon, since those are pretty hard fossils to find. And yeah. So another one. Oh no, it fled which is any Pokemon that currently at the level you find it knows Teleport, Whirlwind, Roar, uh, Pokemon in the Safari Zone, Dragon Tail, or Ralts. Or, oh, my bad. Uh, or dra Yeah, yeah, so all those moves in Dragon Tail. And the double point Pokemon is going to be a Ralts. Um, you can find Ralts with Teleport, I believe, in Diamond Pro Platinum Swarming. Uh, the fact that it's a Swarm is why we made it... Uh, bonus because it's kind of harder to find like that um so yeah another topic we have is uh get over here shout out to scorpion um you in this you use static or magnet pool to find pokemon more likely uh electric or steel types but for this week we are going to have no charge stone cave since that is all electric and steel types and we want there to be you know somewhat of a change and a chance that you can't get it so that way it's worth the bonus point. And the rare one for that is Beldum, which is also swarming in <laughs> Diamond and Pearl Platinum, which I just realized that's pretty coincidental, as the Ralts is. Um, yeah, so the next one is just a nibble, which is fishing. Uh, I think that's really cool because nobody really does fishing hunts as often as others. Uh, this does not include fish chaining, obviously, but... If you want to fish in Generation 6 for that bonus point, you can also, uh, for that you have to, you know, fish one, and then soft reset, fish, soft reset, etc, etc. Uh, and this, the a special shiny for that one is Quillfish, because that is a really rare fishing target. There are rare ones like Psyduck and Slowpoke, I know, in Generation 3, but uh, I don't want it to be, like, too rare, just... You know, just rare enough for it to be a bit of a work. Um, the next week is actually all about being rare. Rarity week. Uh, you find any Pokemon that is 10% or below, and it's worth a bonus point. If you find a Pokemon that is 5% and below, it's worth two bonus points. Uh, you might be thinking, how can you actually look for that since it's, you know, percentages? Um, well, I know that there are areas that have certain percentages, uh, like a lot of Pokemon low percentages, such as Ruin Valley and Fire Red Leaf Green, I've hunted there. Uh, and yeah, there's there's other areas, I know, but I just can't think up off the top of my head, so, yeah. And these must be updated before the end of their week, but say you get it, like, really late in the day, uh, when it ends or something, or you don't have time to upload because you have bad internet or something, you can go ahead and feel free to add me on Skype or uh, Lucky Luke Leo. Um, we are the we are in Eastern time zone, so or I mean, my bad. We are in the Pacific Western time zone, so we can see uh, it is in our time zone. So as soon as you send the message, we'll see if it's in the the guides for the week yet. Uh, but that's the only exception. Other than that, if you like, don't send it to us, and it's not uploaded by the time uh, you know picture proof. If you send it to us, uh, but yeah, if you don't upload it in time for the week, then obviously no point since it's not during the week um so yeah that concludes that part rules and fact uh so the rules most of these are similar to uh, ishc because it was extremely fair this year to be honest um pokemon generation two through five are two points pokemon gen six Kalos exclusive two points uh gen six that aren't Kalos exclusive one point uh, I already explained the gimmick week are worth one point, but if it's the special gimmick week shiny, it's two points. Failed shinies, you don't earn a point. We were having some debate on that, but we came to that conclusion. Uh, shinies generation two through five uh, must be one in eight one nine two. So no Masuda method chaining, uh, none of that. And generation six has to be one out of forty ninety six. Uh, hordes are banned. I don't think we wrote that. I'll edit it in a minute after I make the video, but. Yeah, hordes are banned, and no fish training, no radar. Sorry, guys, but yeah, just trying to keep it maximum odds. 
Um, all right, so here's where it starts to differ from ISHC. Uh, their, our gold, soul, silver, game corner are banned on those. We are allowing it with a two-game limit so that it's not you know being spammed incredibly fast with like four games or something. Uh, yeah, and same thing with the Generation, and I'm skipping one, but same thing with the Generation 3 game corner. We're limiting that to five Abra Clefairy per reset. So if you really want to hunt it and you want it to count for this uh, competition, you know, go ahead, hunt it, uh, just for it to count, you know, five, only five in each one, each reset. Just try to be fair. Um, and one team can only submit three Johto starters. Those are were banned in ISHC, but we're trying to uh, open the door to as many possible hunts because those are a fast and quick hunt if you're having a drought to do. But we don't want people spamming them, so we're giving a nice, you know, free limit. Um, all gift game corner shinies, you know, gift and or game corner shinies must be live or they didn't get a point. Um, what this means is uh, the Pokemon that you get and then you have to check the summary to see if it's shiny. Those must be live. Otherwise, we don't know if somebody can just, uh, you know, cheat in a shiny and make it look like it came from the game corner, put it in their team, and be like, oh, yeah, I got a point. So we're just doing that to ensure that there's no cheating. But we did want to include those kind of hunts. So that's our rule. Sorry if you can't live hunt. You know, it doesn't mean you can't and hunt that target it just means that it won't be counted but please feel free to hunt whatever you want um we're going to have five people maximum teams your teams can be less of course uh 13 no r4 frequently asked questions uh we only have two questions at the moment but you can submit questions to us specifically i think there's a link to the blog for that i'll need to double check if not then uh I'll post an email in the fact for you guys to send it to if there's not one in the blog. But, yeah, so the first question, what dates does this run from and until? Well, it starts July 1st at 12 a.m. Pacific time. So, you know, right now you can see right there my computer says 527 a.m. That is roughly mm, 18 and a half hours or so. And it ends August 31st at 1159 p.m. So, you know, as soon as it hits... Uh, September 1st, the competition is over. Next question is, what does the winner get? Well, they get bragging rights, of course. But they also get $10 USD supplied by me and the other hosts. And we'll get that to you via PayPal. The reason that we're putting that in is because the other competitions, like, yeah, they're fun. But, like, yeah, you win, you get bragging rights. But, you know, we wanted to uh, supply some kind of... Uh, some kind of reward at the end of it. So we wanted something that wasn't too much, but not too little, just something that can get people motivated a bit more to hunt, but, you know, not something that's too, too much because, uh, you know, we are just people hunting and it is supposed to be for fun. So, yeah, we, we ourselves are just as good as you guys, so we aren't anything special, don't have any extra money. And sorry if I'm kind of babbling. I've been up for, like, nearly 24 hours. Just uh, bear with me here. All right, so to submit your shinies, you need to put your name in the top, whatever you use, whatever name you use to sign up on the team. And you must put an email address, uh, yours, a partner's, any valid email address. And in the message, you put your team name, shiny, and the video link. And how many points you believe it's worth, we'll double check it, but, you know, if it's like uh, Kalos Pokemon during a gimmick week, you know, Kalos exclusive, then, you know, that would be two plus bonus point three. So, you know, mm -hmm. you would put three points for that. And, uh, yeah, basically, that's how that works. So, and, yeah, so then that's how you submit your shiny, and then you just press send and message, and it's all good. And then lastly, we have a blog over here for you to just put a message. You need to have an account with them. Yeah, it'll ask you to make an account. But, yeah, it's basically, you know, to share information, any uh, 
any methods of hunting, any ideas on how to make a hunt go quicker, you know, like repel trick at certain levels or et cetera, for you guys to talk. And also, if you have any questions, you can post them here and, you know, we'll, we'll try to answer them here if you put them here. Uh, what is that? Okay. Yeah, so that's basically it. <laughs> I have no idea what that link was, but uh, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, before I end this, shout out to Charizard Fever for making that nice banner right there. I think that looks really, you know, really good. He put a lot of effort into it. And shout out to uh, Lucky Luke Leo for pretty much putting up this whole site together. Uh, a lot of us came up with ideas, but Brian spent a lot of time making that, and Luke spent a lot of time making this page. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you want to submit, please submit uh, soon, but you still have up to two weeks. Oh, also, I almost forgot to mention, uh, up to two weeks to, you know, submit your teams. However, if you get a shiny in those two weeks that the competition is going, but you don't have your team submitted yet, you can't go back after you submit your team and upload uh, shinies to the messages from before you submitted your team as points. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that, so it's best to submit your teams as soon as possible. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please, please, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm really tired and out of loss words. Please join this competition if you feel like you want to. If not, you know, it's totally fine. You know, there's still the ISHC if you guys want to do that. Nobody's making you do either one. So thank you guys for watching, though. Please enjoy whatever you do, and good luck on all your hunts.